Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am going to ask you only single question. And for some of you, it will be very simple. And for others, it will be very much knowledgeable. And the question is, do you understand output of subtractor? And now without wasting much time, let us dig deep into the question and see what is the actual question. Friends, here I will discuss how 4-bit binary subtractor works. Let us say there are two inputs to it. This is the first input and this is the second input. And how the subtractor works? It will subtract the LSV bit. 1 minus 0 is 1. We all know. 0 minus 1. So this is a negative number. So borrow will be generated here. And it will become 2 when borrow is given to this. 2 minus 1, it is 1. Now at this place, we will put borrow here which will be subtracted from this subtraction. So 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 minus 0 is 0. So 3 is answer. If you see in the decimal terms also, this is 5, this is 2 and their subtraction should be 3 and the result is 3 which is correct. So far so good. Friends, now I am considering second example. Here the first number is 0, 0, 001 and the second number is 0010. 0, 0. So second number is greater than the first number. So 1 minus 0 is 1, which is correct and we all know. 0 minus 1. So this will be 1 and the borrow will be generated here. Now, firstly we need to subtract these two, 0 minus 0 and this borrow should be subtracted from it. So 0 minus 1 is 1, again borrow is generated here. Similarly at this place, 0 minus 0 is 0 and 0 minus 1 is 1 and borrow is generated again here. So this is the final result. So this is 5 times 1. What is this number? If we see in the decimal form, this is 1 and this is 2. 1 minus 2 should be minus 1. And what is this? This is the, this is the binary number of 31. But my expected output was minus 1. So now my question to you is, how this number represents minus 1? Now you can pause my video here, try to think of its answer. If something comes to your mind, please write it down in the comment section. I know this is very simple for some of you and it will be very knowledgeable for the others. Please don't forget to write your answers in the comment section so that we can start a discussion there. Otherwise, I will reveal its solution in the upcoming videos. With this, I am going to end this video and I hope that this video will be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section and if you wish, you can share it with your friends. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your time.